Okay, I'm lucky and the other pink light is out. So, I thought I'd talk to you about my bell peppers. And as you can see, I wish I could. Well, I do have my little onion. We're going to give him some bone meal. I put the little steaks in because my fruit was laying on the ground. So I have this little cute bell pepper. And he has a friend. Over here. This just pleases me to no end. I've really been excited about this. This was whacked too. With whatever might or I fungus I had so um, first I'm gonna go ahead and add some bone meal my uncle swears by bone meal when it comes to any kind of bulb but it also helps the rest of the plants now I'm gonna go ahead and get it some water I will be right back Okay, I usually have that water and that spray with me everywhere I go. How do you like my lighting, by the way? I got my uh, telescopic light. Again, we don't want to overwhelm the plants. Um, I like it so far. I just haven't had the confidence to let it uh, hold my camera for me. I like to see that it's actually recording. I can't tell you, unless you're a content creator yourself, what it's like to do a whole video and find that it didn't record or there is no sound. Now I'm going to leave these snakes in here. Steaks, not steak, snakes. Um, because I, if it touches the ground, it has more likelihood of, you know, rotting or getting some form of fungus and they're just so doggone cute i mean i've never grown them before so i'm pretty happy about that and this too you know whatever that was was affecting the growth of my onion so got my handy dandy spray we're gonna go ahead and spray them you can use the spray, you know. I don't know if you watched the video that I had posted or listed in my comments on the other video. But uh, orchids, peat moss, it doesn't matter what it is. It's not going to harm it. And um, if you're really concerned about it, you could go ahead and rinse off your plant after a couple of minutes. I'd give it 20 but uh, if you see here, and I am going to take off one of the leaves because it's starting to curl. Now, I don't see anything, but that doesn't mean anything. So, I will be checking that out. Some of these plants have had a really hard time. And whatever the problem was just doesn't seem to want to go away. But it has improved greatly or I wouldn't have the fruit and everything that I do. I just like to be very thorough and get in there. And yeah, I get to top a little bit of the soil. But... Uh, this little fella here, he's a little weakling, but we're still giving him a shot too because everything got stunted. And it's better to be safe than sorry. So basically that's all I have for you today. I just wanted to share that with you and show you that my onion is growing and my cute little bell pepper. And if you've been following along, when I planted the cilantro seeds, when you water seedlings, if you have a fine mister, just to keep it a little moist, it's in your best interest to do it that way. 
because you can't keep watering it with a big gush of water. You're just going to drown everything out. So I am going to check that out, and I'll have an answer for you on my next video. I don't think I have another pepper plant to do, but I have other plants I have to get to. So until then, you have a wonderful day, and so will I. I'll talk to you later. Bye.